Cake is a symbol of excess, extravagance, and culinary excellence. And I like to think that it's available when needed, a bit of Victoria sponge, that uh, cake which was designed to inflate the delight and the stomach of Queen Victoria. She was, I believe, only as tall as she was broad. Uh, her girth was or almost equivalent to her height, a sort of round lady, entirely a result of eating cake, I suppose, cake and mourning. But the history of cake, uh, its cultural and symbolic significance, offers a fascinating lens through which to explore various political issues, from royal courts to political scandals, peccadilloes, uh, little, li little, little moments of... Uh, an, the cake, a nebulous nemufar of culinary um, coincidence. And one of the most enduring associations with cake is its symbolism as this element of luxury. Uh, the phrase, let them eat cake, although attributed to Marie Antoinette, epitomizes this notion. Uh, it probably almost certainly goes back to Rousseau. And this statement that Rousseau, the man who seemed to have scattered uh, abandoned babies uh, with the um, with, with with the indolence that has only uh, <laughs> only really been uh, been been eclipsed in the popular imagination by Boris Johnson, uh, and um, <laughs> would that Rousseau had a few sofas to hand uh, to take up the excess. This uh, the, the, this statement, let them eat cake. Uh, made in response to the plight of starving French peasants, reflects the perceived disconnect between the aristocracy and the common people. It illustrates how the indulgence associated with cake, a delicacy made from ingredients like sugar and flour that were not readily available to the masses, became a marker of privilege and subsequently a catalyst of revolution. Fast forward to the 21st century, and Cake finds itself entangled in political discourse once again. Boris's John, uh, Boris's uh, declaration, I ain't no blooming Cake, uh, during the Partygate controversy, where he denied consuming Cake at a lockdown birthday, uh, uh, um, at a lockdown breaching birthday event, highlights the triviality that overshadows serious allegation. The fact that Cake became the focal point in a scandal that involved breaches of public trust, is testimony to how certain symbols persist in political narrative. Johnson's 2016 quip about being pro-having it, pro-eating it, during the Brexit campaign further illustrates how the metaphorical use of cake continues to play into political rhetoric. Um, was it uh, Liz Trust then brings up cake again about slices, representing desire, uh, to enjoy contradictory benefits. This modern twist on the old proverb, you can't have your cake and eat it, demonstrates how the symbolism of cake remains potent, embodying impossibility um, and satisfaction, mutually exclusive desires. Historically, cake was a luxury item reserved for the wealthy, often seen at grand celebrations, weddings, baptisms, bar mitzvahs, and symbolizing status and festivity, Christmas. Its evolution from a high-status food to a common celebratory staple picked up in Tesco's or Asda, um, uh, reflects its broader shift from egalitarian consumption the democratization of cake, something you make in the kitchen on your own, um, licking out the bowl, uh, enabled uh, by the Industrial Revolution and the mass production of sugar and Mrs. Beaton, flour, baking powder, the, uh, made this once elite treat accessible to the general public. Suddenly everybody can lick out the um, bowl. The piece, the phrase "piece of cake," uh, which um, w w which uh, emerged in the RAF to denote an easy mission, is testimony to this sudden shift in a, in, in a matter of what fifty years, from a rare treat to something so common it can be used metaphorically to describe effortlessness and simplicity. Cake has also served as a vehicle for social commentary and satire. Eddie Izzard's comedy sketch, Cake or Death, 
highlights the absurdity of false choices often presented by those in power. This satirical take plays on the humorous yet dark juxtaposition of something as trivial as cake against the serious concept of morality. In literature and popular culture, cake has also been used to critique consumerism and indulgence. In Shakespeare's Twelfth Night, where excessive consumption leads to chaos and confusion, to modern depictions in films and advertising, cake often serves as a symbol of both pleasure and excess, a duality that has made it a compelling subject across different media. So throughout history, cake has mirrored social values and tension. It's been there on the political dashboard as we drive through life, from the court of Versailles to the modern-day Downing Street, infested with Boris Johnson and enthusiastic Liz Trusses and Rishi Sunak's. Did he have cake? Its journey from an elite indulgence to a common treat encapsulates the broader narrative of class struggle, class descent, democratization, and the enduring power of symbolism, the iconography of cake in political and cultural discourse. Whether it's revolutionary France or a 2020 pandemic lockdown, cake continues to be more than just a pudding, a dessert, a just dessert. It's a symbol rich with meaning, capable of reflecting both aspiration and our own contradiction, our own misery. Um, I stood briefly at my place in the cabinet room where I have meetings all day while the Chancellor and assorted members of staff said happy birthday. I saw no cake, I ate no cake. If this was a party, it was the feeblest event in the history of human festivity. I had only just got over Covid. I didn't sing, I didn't dance, I didn't eat cake. Boris Johnson, the ultimate denial of confection. <laughs>